port activation in the hangar at the bottom of the base. Get in there and destroy the AI before it's activated. Time's running short. Get over to Peace Walker's hangar now. leads underground. Enemies that coordinate their attacks are too much trouble when you're solo. Just steer clear. What is it? It's too late, big boss. Snake! Boss. At last I found her. The culprit who led you here to begin with. Should have taken care of her back at the supply facility. Snake, don't! The mammal pod is finished. Peace Walker's activation sequence is complete. Finished. With the boss, you were loyal to the end. I'll grant you that. But your silence was exactly the answer I needed. Ten years ago, your mission was to kill her. And her mission was to be killed by you. She fulfilled her duty to America to the very end. Thanks to you, Snake, the final missing piece is now in place. And thus, the boss is restored to life as the mammal part. I thank you. Restored to life? You're crazy! I'll let you in on a little secret, Big Boss. You see, I've already selected Peace Walker's initial target. An offshore area in the Caribbean. The trade winds will scatter the fallout all over the surrounding region. Crops and fish will die, leaving plenty of free hands to help us mass-produce Peace Walker. Oh, and wouldn't you know, someone's gone and built a pesky little fortress there. Now who would do that? And right in the middle of the target zone, too. Oh well, all the better to test the warhead, CEP. You bastard! I wonder who'll miss a ragtag band of pirates all the way out in the middle of the Caribbean. But first, we're going to prove to the White House that our baby can travel the Caribbean coast on its own. The whole world will know of Peace Walker's versatility. They'll witness the birth of a deterrent that can penetrate both communist and guerrilla controlled territory, traverse any kind of terrain, and deliver a nuke anywhere it needs to go. Untouchable. Unstoppable. The perfect deterrent. The Cold War's days are numbered. Deterrence isn't only about America and Russia now. You know what? You're absolutely right. While we've been wringing our hands, China, France, even India have surpassed us. 
There's a free-for-all nuclear arms race brewing just below the surface. The nuclear threat will only spread, which is exactly why we must deter it here and now. And the Peace Walker Project is the key. The advent of Peace Walker will bring calm to this restless world. Don't you see, Snake? We need nukes, controlled nukes, to have peace. Lies! Peace Walker will restore order. Order in the form of a new Cold War. But if the world is to understand the genius of our plan, we must launch! Snake! Stop them, Snake! Don't let him get away! System online. Launching S mines.
Snake. Kaz, Peace Walker's gone. They've got Paz, too. Yeah, but... Why, Kaz? What would Coleman want with Paz? Paz was with the Professor, i.e. the KGB. Once Coleman discovered that, he figured out what was really going on between Paz and Galvez. He's trying to figure out how the KGB planned to stop Peace Walker. And he thinks he can get the info from Paz. That's crazy. Paz won't know anything. Well, he probably doesn't buy that. You think Galvez has already been killed? By grabbing Paz, Coleman's saying... Stay out of this, or lose your client. Damn it! I can't believe we didn't realize what was going on before we lost contact with Paz. Don't have time for that, Kaz. Snake! Paz needs our help. Right. This isn't about money anymore. You better move. We know where they're headed. Yeah. You can thank Amanda. Snake, that river you chased the Basilisco across is the Rio San Juan. The other side is our country. I had some Nicaraguan compas track it there. They're focus from the GPP faction. So we don't work together so much. Where'd it go? West, along the border, towards Lago Cosibolca. There's a U.S. military supply base on the southeastern shore of the lake. Ever since that earthquake two years ago, America's had the entire region to itself. That is where the Basilisco is. I'm sure of it. Lago Cosibolca. How do I get across the border? There is a route that we use to cross. It's just a little boat, but I can introduce you to the captain. Hmm. I appreciate it. We will never leave Nicaragua at the mercy of someone like William Walker again. Snake, Coldman's going to launch the nuke from that base. He's targeting MSF. Based on what Huey's told us, it'll take two more days to prep for launch. But it looks like there's another reason they picked that date. What's that? Tomorrow is day one of a U.S.-Soviet summit in Vladivostok. The launch is probably connected somehow. That's right. They're holding the SALT-2 talks. You think Coleman's trying to disrupt the negotiations? Hmm. Either that, or use it as a bargaining chip. He's still got Paz, too. At any rate, we're running out of time. I'll figure something out. Snake. Peace Walker has crossed the border and entered a U.S. military supply base on the southeastern shore of Lago Colsibolca. Coleman's targeting the MSF plant. That's us. Don't let it launch that nuke. Destroy Peace Walker. Stealth. Take the gondola west along the river. When you reach the northern bank, you are in Nicaragua. I've arranged for a guide to get you close. Snake! Chico. Sorry about the horse. He sure was pretty. Life's end. Isn't it beautiful? It's almost tragic. I've been waiting, Snake, for a long time. Boss. There is nothing more for me to give you. All that's left for you to take is my life. By your own hand. One must die, and one must live. No victory, no defeat. The survivor will carry on the fight. The one who survives will inherit the title of boss. Kill me. Kill me now. There's only room for one boss. And one snake. The boss's defection was a ruse set up by the U.S. government.
But then something happened that no one could have predicted. Colonel Volgan fired an American-made nuclear warhead at Sokolov's research facility. So the operation itself was greatly expanded and revised. The authorities in Washington knew that in order to prove their innocence, they'd have to get rid of the boss. And that one of their own would have to do the job. The boss wouldn't be allowed to come back home alive. And she wouldn't be allowed to kill herself. Her life would be ended by her most beloved disciple. That was the way that the government wanted it. That was the mission she was given. The taint of disgrace will follow her to her grave. Future generations will revile her. In America as a despicable traitor with no sense of honor. And in Russia as a monster who unleashed a nuclear catastrophe. She will go down in official history as a war criminal. That was her final mission. Snake, history will never know what she did. No one will ever learn the truth. Her story, her debriefing, will endure only in your heart. Everything she did, she did for her country. She sacrificed her life and her honor for her native land. She was a real hero. She was a true patriot. Something's not right. Geek guard doesn't look too bad. What do you think? Gonna need some help. This is Snake. Can you hear me? This is Miller. Loud and clear. Got him without a hitch. Good. There's an airfield on the other side of the building, on the northwestern shore of the lake. That's where they'll conduct the launch. There's a communications tower in front of you. I'm betting they'll control Peace Walker from there. Guys, they're targeting Mother Base. Don't you think you should evacuate? Nah. Everybody here believes in you, boss. <laughs> All right, fine then. I've kind of gotten attached to the place myself. What about Amanda and her people? They've been taken to safety. We can't involve them in this any further. Good. They've got their own cause to fight for. And Snake. Don't forget the bad guys have got Paz. I won't. We're prepping a few backup units. Don't let them launch, Snake. We're counting on you. See the communications tower to the west? Head for that, Snake!
security is tighter around the central region. Might be best to find another route.
the gate.
Boss, you made it. Too late, though. The false data's already in place. False data? That's right. Peace Walker is designed for deterrence, nothing more. She is incapable of initiating a nuclear attack on her own. She will only awaken and attack when it's time to retaliate. Peace Walker is a weapon of peace, after all. First, We'll enter data for an imaginary Soviet nuclear strike on the U.S. homeland. After assessing the data as a threat, Peace Walker will automatically enter retaliation mode, selecting the optimal target from a predefined list. For this scenario, we have reverse engineered the false data so that she'll inevitably end up choosing the Caribbean Sea as her target. You're really gonna do it, aren't you? Know this. Peace Walker's retaliation will be the first and last of the Cold War. It is the only way we will ever come close to achieving true peace. All that is left is to enter the cold. No! Stand down, big boss. You're late. Professor. Professor? Yes, well, taking over the base took longer than expected. But I brought the technology. What? You provided the money and land. Center alone could never have accomplished so much in so little time. Zadarnov, you backstabbing son of a- Backstabbing? Correct me if I'm wrong, but were we not enemies all along? Do you really think my comrades were working for the company? Do you truly think we'd faithfully serve a pack of depraved capitalist dogs? What are you going to do? Launch a nuke. Target Cuba. Have you lost your mind? What would you possibly gain? We won't be the ones launching it. You, the Americans, will attack our ally, Cuba. What? Think, Coldman. We're on an American base, eagerly endorsed and supplied by a pro-American regime. What's the international community to think? The world will burn with anti-American sentiment. Communism will spread across Latin America unchecked. Ugh! Let the age of deterrence be undone by the deterrent itself. Such is the Kremlin's plan. You son of a bitch! Us, come here. Vladimir Zadornov. And the Vladimir means ruler of peace. Now, do as you're told, us. Don't do it! Remember what they did to you at their base on the coast. For what Coldman's done, he deserves nothing less than death. Boss! I I'm sorry! Retribution be delivered by a dead hand. You... you missed on purpose. Your part. 
part in this isn't done. I need you to enter the code. <laughs> Doctor, the target is now Cuba. Please make the necessary modifications. And don't even think of resisting. I'll crush you, but only after I crush your beloved first. No! Not that! Cuba is now the retaliation target. Very well. Good. It is done. As for you, big boss, I've been watching you all along. You've performed beyond even my highest expectations. A true commandante. What are you talking about? Hmm. Why do you think I summoned you to Costa Rica? Had you make contact with the Sandinistas? <laughs> A true intelligence operative never gets his hands dirty. Need a revolution? Manipulate the locals into doing it for you. You mean Amanda and the Sandinistas? You've done well. You took a ragtag band of gorillas, children, and shaped them into a full-fledged, formidable army. And now, you'll truly become our century's most complete human being. Shape. Afara? None other. A hero who, gunned down by the CIA, becomes a legendary icon. The Sandinistas will rise up in revenge, overthrowing the pro-American regime and wresting Nicaragua from U.S. hands. And the nuclear strike on Cuba naturally will be the last straw. Mammal pod data entry is complete. Dead at age 39. Just like El Che. Ironic, isn't it? In the end, a legend is merely fiction. You'll die as the boss did, and become as did she, an eternal fraud. Go! 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 Dare point your gun at a comrade! We will not be pawns of the KGB. We will win our own victory! Hasta la victoria siempre! Amanda! <sighs> we're home! Look! We're back in Nika! We did it, Amanda! I, I mean... Comandante! <sighs> Boss, you hurt. I'm fine. Big boss. 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 You're a regular Joan of Arc. Nonsense. You're the hero here. You saved my life. You're the heroes here. I never figured you for a softy, Snake. Thanks. It's good to see you. Paz can stay with us until she's back on her feet. And the professor? We'll find him a nice, comfy cell. Coldman's lost a lot of blood. He may not make it. Where's Amanda? Back with her compass. She'll catch up later. How about you, Snake? I'm not done yet. The AI. I have to finish this. That boss is a fake. I'm gonna bury it. We'll save the champagne until you get back. May as well celebrate peace while it lasts. I didn't bring her back to life because I was forced to. I wanted to know how she really felt. How it really ended. The boss is dead. No, she's alive. Some truths are better left buried. You don't mean that. Be honest. You want to know too, don't you? Whether what you saw and heard at the end was the truth. 
She'll tell us. I know she will. Thank you for stopping them. And I'm sorry. I can't imagine how it hurt. I'll live. I'm used to shock therapy. You are? Well, it's very kind of you to say. Let's go meet her, shall we? Get in, boss. Don't pick up a gun unless you know how to use it. Aiming a weapon alone doesn't make it a deterrent. You're the angel of peace. Leave the guns to us. That was our agreement, remember? The army's leaving Costa Rica now. The mission is complete. Paz? Thank you. That noise. What'd he do? <laughs> I should have killed you when I had the chance. Norad's nightmare is about to begin. What? Peace Walker determines retaliation targets based on enemy nuclear strike data. That data can be sent to third parties as well. We got big problems, Snake. Colbin's activated the nuclear launch switch. What? And the target's Cuba? Yeah, but that's not it. The son of a bitch has screwed us all over. When Peace Walker was activated, it started transmitting the false data sent to NORAD. It's using a spread spectrum MLF signal. It can't be blacked out, even by EMP. There's no way to tell the difference between false data and the real thing on a radar screen. NORAD will have no idea it's all a ruse generated by Peace Walker. They'll think it's a real Soviet attack. They'll pass on the data to the National Military Command Center. And Washington will have to choose whether or not to retaliate. This could get ugly. Unless we stop it, we're looking at a retaliatory chain reaction. No! No need to panic. The nightmare will end soon enough. What do you mean? Coldman's aim is for the bureaucrats in Washington to see the importance of a machine like Peace Walker. He's trying to prove that humans don't possess the will to launch nukes. Everything will be fine. They'll never retaliate. They're only human. Cuz, where's the president? Last I heard, he was in the middle of SALT II negotiations in Vladivostok. With the president gone, nuclear launch authority passes to the next person in the chain of succession. The vice president's gone too. So after him comes the speaker. President. Vice President. Not one among them has the courage to push the button. No one willing to enter history as the great destroyer. In the end, it's not their lives that people value most. It's their reputations. The bureaucrats in Washington may not be able to retaliate. Peace Walker, on the other hand. She's loyal to the mission above all, and she's well aware that guaranteed retaliation is essential for nuclear deterrence to work. Peace Walker is the perfect deterrent. Cuba would not have been my choice of targets, but you can't make peace without breaking a few eggs. Now that Peace Walker has the false data, retaliation is inevitable. Are you insane? You think it'll end there? 
You're about to unleash all-out nuclear war. Somebody find out what's going on at NORAD. Mammal's got a connection to NORAD. We could monitor it with the right equipment. I've got you covered. I've got NORAD on the line. Sir, we're tracking unidentified targets. Current apogee, 20 degrees. Estimated time of re-entry is 2250 Zulu. Have they contacted the president? Cover all is not responding. Warning system checks out. No corresponding natural signatures. Data is assessed as reliable. Cut the data transmission. We can't say for sure Washington isn't going to retaliate. The only one who knows the abort code is me. I die. No one can turn it off. Even if they do strike back, I'll already be dead. I can only pray that my theory, my peace, is proven right. Peace. Go to DEFCON 3. Get Zack on the phone. This is Crystal Palace. Stand by for an emergency meeting. They're at DEFCON 3. The false data and the nukes are both coming from the same source. You have to stop Peace Walker. The only way is to destroy her. She's entered launch mode. Peace Walker's rendered her judgment. The target is Cuba. Snake, don't let it launch the nuke. Thank <laughs> you.